They help. There we go. What was that? There we go. There we go. Anyway, guys, you always know it's a uh, you always know it's a new show, and it's been a week when uh, all of your stream settings are all whacked out. So uh, we have had a very very uh, busy week with some great uh, videos that are coming out your way. And so, uh, yeah, we got a really cool one from NZXT that comes out on Monday. Uh, we've got a really, I did some filming with uh, Corsair. Um, we have a really good one on cryptocurrency and all that sort of stuff that are coming out. So it's just been busy. And so I apologize for the, uh, I apologize for the break, um, but thank you very much. And also for uh, kicking it off. So let's, Let's talk about the deal today because it's been a little while. So let's go through the giveaways and all that jazz. I also want to give a shout out to our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com. They are a cheap place to get your CD deals. We'll talk about them more at the end when we talk about deals, etc. I always like to give them a shout out at the beginning. Let's talk about the giveaways today. Giveaways. It's a little bit of thing. Let's, uh, my, my, uh, Glasses seem a little bit whacked out, so I'm gonna clean my glass while I talk about it. First and foremost, we've got the 250 gig NVMe SSD that we're gonna be giving away to, uh, if we get two level five hype trains, which we're gonna kick off here any second because we're about to start it. So we got one more thing and we'll kick off a hype train. If we get two of those, we give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Uh, the second one is if we get 500 likes over on the YouTube. Now, you guys had like a little bit of a jump start, but because Roby started everything with the wrong stream settings, uh, we had to restart. So it's gonna be some work. So make sure you head over to YouTube com slash robotech hit that thumbs up button because if we get 500 of those we'll give away a uh we'll give away a uh oh, what's the word i'm looking for we'll give away a uh 250 gig nvme ssd now we have a new giveaway that's going to be starting here uh with the show today um and so uh i will remind you guys at the end but we're going to be giving away a 25 just 25 dollars cold hard cash uh, to one lucky individual who leaves an awesome comment down in the comments at youtube.com slash robytech. So once this goes to VOD, all you gotta do is be liked, you gotta subscribe, and then if you basically leave a really awesome comment, uh, we'll be choosing somebody within the profile at the end of the week uh, to basically win $25 cash. You just That's open to international, all you have to do is have Venmo and PayPal. Now, you can't leave a thing like, I should deserve to win, I have a great PC or anything like that. It's gotta be a good comment, just about feedback for the show. This is how we're basically paying to get feedback to make our show better. Now, uh, you have to make sure in your YouTube profile that it has a way for us to get a hold of you because we're gonna basically be getting a hold of you directly uh, and we'll announce the winners on Discord that next week. So you'll basically know, and that's gonna be for every movie, movie, YouTube video moving forward. So once it goes to VOD, make sure you head over. If you like something about the stream, if you didn't like something about the stream, leave a good comment down below and hit that thumbs up button uh, and you might actually walk away with $25 in cash. Lastly, uh, down in the bottom corner down there, and I'll, I'll talk about Hype Train here in a minute, uh, you'll see where it says uh, 11 of 50. If we get 11, uh, if we get 50 subs, we give away a $50 new gift card. 100 subs, we give a $100 new gift card. 150 subs, we get a $150 new gift card. And then we start giving away tech, like CPUs, GPUs, etc. And just so the, uh, just so the, uh, the mods know, now we're giving away 3050s at the 200, uh, sorry, at the uh, 300 mark. So, so we do have something in between uh, the 250 and 300 now, which is actually pretty cool. Lastly, today is the last day to get in on the 3070 Ti giveaway for the month of January. So if you wanna get in on that, drop your free Amazon Prime subscription. So uh, today is the last day that we're streaming before the end of the month. Uh, well, actually, no, we're streaming on Monday, aren't we? Never mind. That's not true. So you have two more chances, sorry. Uh, you have two more chances to get in on this. This is the second to last day. All you gotta do is drop your free Amazon Prime subscription. Now, if you got a gifted sub from people like Creamy Thick or Count to It, et cetera, what you can basically do is then you can use your Amazon Prime scrub to double your chances. In fact, the person who won in July won a 3080 Ti, won off of a single Amazon Prime sub. That's all he had to do and he entered to win. So so if you want to get your GPU, you can get it that way, or you can do things like gift subs, like so many people are doing, uh, or you can do things like subscribe, uh, which gets you one extra entry per basically resub, 
or you can do things like uh, subscribe to tier two, that gets you five extra entries, and tier three, that gets you 10 uh, if you wanna give it that way as well. So lots of ways to win today, lots of opportunities, and all that awesome stuff. So uh, let's go through everybody who's doing high train. We're at level four already, uh, we're at 13 subs. I wanna give a shout out to Tipsy Momo. Thank you for your prime resub two months. Uh, count to it resubbing, uh, seven month anniversary there. Uh, Igor dropping his 500 bits. Skyrim fan, 200 bits, thank you very much. Creamy Thick, four month anniversary at tier one. Uh, Igor giving out a gifted sub. Uh, we got Cosmic Jordan resubscribing, resubscribing with Prime, 19 months, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Igor dropping 1,000 bits. Greg, Gil, Greg, Greggy, 1997, uh, two month anniversary there. Uh, uh, Igor dropping five gifted subs. Marathon driven a gifted sub. And then Admiral Denaus, Dinas, yes. Uh, seven month anniversary at tier one. So lots of subs coming in here and all that sort of stuff. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, Yawning Salmon, 100 bits. Uh, Tipsy Momo, oh, I already did that. High Demon, 79, resubscribing with Prime. Uh, that's seven month there. Marathon giving out a community sub. I am Dralpha. I am Dr. Alpha. Yeah, maybe I am Dr. Alpha, one month at tier one. Igor, another gifted sub. And we are halfway or more than halfway through uh, level four. Mr. McWilshire Baggins, love that name. 17 months at tier one. Um, and go for that. Hey, thank you very much. I'm glad you love the streams, man. What's up, Notorious? How are you, man? Thank you very much, everybody, for joining. It's so good to see everybody. Uh, I, I'm excited about today's build. It's actually for a good friend of mine. Uh, we're going to be building his commission build. Now, I guess a lot of people don't know. I build commissions. If you guys are interested now, I'm taking far less of them. Um, and so uh, I, I am Dr. Alpha dropping five gifted subs. Thank you very much, my friend. I am taking far less of them. That is definitely true, um, especially over the next couple months as we have a ton of new cases um, that are getting ready to launch. But yes, there are still some available. Uh, if you are interested, reach out to me on Discord. Uh, and uh, we, have some, we have some good ones coming up, actually. I have some pretty rad ones coming up. Uh, we've got a Mass Effect themed one um, that's like the whole case is being painted, et cetera. So we have some really great uh, commissions coming up. But if you guys want details on that, those are available and we'd have a couple, uh, we have a couple of really cool ones as well. Thank you, Igor, for being so generous today, man. It's been awesome. Guys, we're almost level five and we're drinking that Corsair, uh, that cor out of my Corsair um, Cool All Yeti. I was actually hanging out with Corsair just the other day, so. <clears throat> How much RGB do we have today? We have we have an average amount. Juggalo dropping 10 gifted subs, taking us to level five. There it is. Guys, we are, what, 17 away? 17 away? Yeah, doing math real quick. 17 away from hitting 50. Can we kick off my little break, which is 17 extra subs? Let's hit that 50 sub mark and go on to the next one. I'd love to give away a GPU or a CPU today. That'd be rad. Um, so we have our fans are RGB. We've got the, oh, we've got a screen. Right, so that's the, I think that's the big one right there. We got a screen on the GPU. So there's, that's like extra frames right there. Um, and so I think it's it's big chungus right there. So we'll have a lot of that. Uh, Mactania, uh, thank you very much. I am Dr. Alpha, thank you for the five gifted subs. Guys, we are at 39, 11 subs away. Let's uh, let's finish it out and, and start at 50 before the end of Hype Train. We got three minutes left. <laughs> Average is lame, we need extreme. Well, we are using an extreme motherboard, uh, extreme graphics card. So we'll do that. Hey, one gifted sub, taking us to 10. We're now 10 away. Admiral, thank you for making it even. Appreciate you, my friend. Corsair is a, yeah, yes, Corsair is a person. No, I was at Corsair HQ doing, a, doing some filming. I'm uh, doing there a couple days. I have a couple things this week with them. Um, and then we have some, guys, we have something super fun. I will tell you, super fun coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, you guys are gonna be excited. It's gonna be right here on the channel. We're gonna be streaming it. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I think you, we got some great content in the month of February, um, which would be cool. You know, we got to do a Valentine's build again. Everybody loved the Valentine's build. He is a cool guy, BBX Gamer. He's, he's really cool. He's, uh, he's really nice to people. Okay, guys, eight subs, two minutes. Let's do it, and then we'll start talking about parts. Well, this is actually the quickest we've gotten, like, through the hype train uh, at an intro. I got to say, man, we, you guys are killing it today. Vitrify God. Thank you very much. Marathon given out as well. Thank you for the prime resub. Marathon, thank you for the gifted sub. 44, six away. How is everybody doing today? Having, ever, having, a, having a good Friday, having a good Saturday? Restful? My kids are uh, doing a production uh, this weekend. So they're, uh, we, I got to see them last night. They played Aladdin. Uh, my, my daughter was one of the maidens and my son is, he was chorus. He's, he's, not, he's still in elementary school, but it's still pretty cool. 
Six. Ah, 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 ah. Six. Six subs left. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Cello Joe. Prime. Five away, guys. Five. One minute and 40 seconds. Can we do it? The original Parker bot. 14 month anniversary. That is rad. Thank you very much. I hope the uh, the non-original Parker bot might, might subscribe. Maybe you'll maybe you'll, uh, you'll create some pressure. So oh, and Cello Joe's like, you know what? I should probably follow too. Admiral, oh, Gynet Prime sub four two away. We're two away. When did that happen? How did we wait? I understand. We were like four away, and now we're two away. I math apparently it's not even going. What day? Is it? Greetings from San Antonio. Man, I love San Antonio. The Riverwalk, and then I love Chewy's, which is also in San Antonio. Yeah, I used to go to San Antonio and Austin a lot. Uh, I miss San Antonio. I love the vibe of the uh, Riverwalk. 60 seconds, two subs, guys. Can I get away with the 800 watt PSU on a 10.9 headed K? No. Soul Chaser, uh, there was actually a really great video from uh, Greg Salazar about people who undervolted their P, uh, didn't give their stuff enough power, and then their entire machine basically fried itself. I'm not saying that you're gonna do that, but dude, your 3080 could crush that 800 watt if the right thing is happening, and you don't wanna damage the card. You need at least, I would recommend 850 uh, at least, but I would go for 1,000 just to be, because then you get the efficiency. Uh, Admiral Dinas, thank you very much. And that is at 50, uh, 50, 20 seconds left. That is, that's hype train. That's like hype train of the year right now. You guys are hype train of the year for the first, for the first one. We've got some crazy, like close to a thousand percent. But yeah, this is the first, like the best hype train we've had of the year so far of 2022. So <clears throat> yeah, so won't let you sub. Okay, so uh, <laughs> might wanna give some people some updates. Okay, so I stream to multiple channels. You might be over at twitch.tv slash Newegg. I'm over at twitch.tv slash Robitech. I stream to Newegg as well. Newegg is one of my primary sponsors, and so that's why uh, you guys are seeing me on the Newegg channel. If you wanna do and get it part of the, the stream only, give, uh, sorry, the sub only giveaways, you gotta move over to twitch.tv slash uh, Robitech. If you're over at youtube.com slash Robitech, same thing. All of those sub numbers and stuff like that are all um, from Twitch. Uh, we don't count, uh, obviously you, you have to pay to sub on Twitch, you don't pay to sub on YouTube, um, and then you cannot sub on Newegg, so that's that's what's going on there. Uh, okay, I am going to update the giveaway stuff and let's talk about, let's talk about uh, what's happening uh, on today's stream. You know what, I almost hit end stream, that is not what I wanted to do. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just not here right now. Okay, sub goal, end goal, we're on our way to $100 Newegg gift card. One hundred. We need fifty. Oh, we have fifty. Sorry, zero one. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Stream over, guys. Thank yeah, that's it. Thank you for the flag. Yeah, we're out. Uh, okay, uh, let's go ahead and get. Let's talk about the parts we're putting in today's build. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be a good build. It is for my good friend. I am Doctor Alpha. Another five gifted subs. Thank you, my friend. It's for my good friend Jeff Herringer, who I worked with at Microsoft forever. Now, if you've ever watch the extra, the Xbox Extra Life streams. Uh, Jeff was a huge part of the uh, team behind it who did all the facility stuff, all the things to make those things super successful. Um, and so uh, when I went and did the last charity stream, which actually was part of Give, uh, which you may have watched over at the uh, twitch.tv slash Xbox, um, he was there and he's like, Roby, I really wanna get a PC built. So this is his PC. So it's, 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 it's a personal friend of mine, which is gonna be fun and I'm excited about it. I need to go, one thing I just realized, I need to go grab real quick some cable extensions because apparently I keep forgetting to put them in the cart and then uh, we will get started and start building his PC. So let me grab it real quick. Should have two double, there it is, CPU black. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen, who's ready? Let's get some hype in the chat. Let's start talking about parts. You for, uh, you for more me. You for more me. Okay, you for me. Okay, let's get some hype in the chat. Let's start, let's start going through it. Okay, so starting at the core of this thing. Ah, it's been a while since we built one of these. The uh, infamous and current king of the CPU stack, uh, the Intel 12900K. Um, it, you know, now actually, even with this new stuff from Windows 11, even currently head of the work, uh, the workhorse side, as well, so uh, absolutely amazing CPU. It's been coming down in price over uh, ever since uh, the beginning of the year. They're pretty easy to get. I think Intel's done a really good job 
I would say this is probably one of the best launches of a CPU in a long time in terms of just even being able to get a hold of the product. I know some of that may be GPU limited, but all in all, I remember with Ryzen 5000 series, those things were pretty much impossible to get for who knows how long. And I think Intel's done a really good job of keeping the channel full. So uh, Intel 12900K, which means already we're gonna get top tier performance, not just uh, from a gaming standpoint, but a work standpoint as well. Uh, in terms of uh, the CPU, uh, the, uh, the uh, motherboard we're putting in this, I haven't got to use one of these, but this is the MSI Z690 Tomahawk. Uh, this is the MSI Z690 Tomahawk uh, CP, uh, motherboard. Uh, we're gonna be all in all, like, haven't, I, like I love using these in the X570 generation, the same as the B550. It's like that perfect mixture of price and just features. Um, uh, and so uh, absolutely is going to be an, uh, an awesome, um, an awesome uh, motherboard to kind of pair with this. Now people are saying literally 12900K bringing the heat. Don't worry, uh, we're gonna be using one of my favorite uh, AIO coolers and you, wouldn't, you wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't wanna use anything else with a 12900K and that's a Glacier One 360 uh, MPH. Now, the one thing that's nice about the 12900K if you really wanted to is you could still get five gigahertz on all cores. You could even undervolt to bring down some of the temperature stuff. It's like everything, right? Like part of the kinks are getting worked out uh, and people have been able to get more than enough power while removing the heat uh, from the CPU. It's even overclocking. Like we've done a bunch of AI overclocking um, and some individual overclocking. I just think it's funny. And some of this is Silicon Lottery stuff that people are saying, hey, you can't overclock a 12900K. That is utter crap. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, I feel like a lot of people just watch People who love to just say clickbaity crap to go get their, uh, to get their, um, to get people to click on their videos and then share a bunch of just random information um, and just so people can sit there and poo poo because they like. I mean, the thing is, there's just a lot of clicks in getting people to say team red or team blue instead of just being like, hey man, let's, uh, let's just, let's just be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, more. Uh, impartial and build the stuff and actually show data. You know what I mean? And so, or do it over a number of things. So that's kind of my, that's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my two cents. I, I kind of feel like YouTube tech has started to turn into this, like as the GPU shortage has caused people to have to react um, to um, the drop in video viewership, they've just become a lot more angry and a lot more, um, I don't know. It's just like almost impartial, non-impartial just to create things. Now I understand this is our job. This is how we get paid. This is what we do. But I just feel like being pot, like not necessarily being positive, but just being just kind of flat about the information is way better. So, uh, that's my, I know. And clicks, they do love the numbers, but the other two is like just a lot of people going in there. It's like we have built, I think the one thing we've been kind of lucky about is like, and you guys see this every time we build a PC, especially uh, in a new case, we'll run it through our rounds. And so you guys have seen our numbers and our, our heat tent stuff and all that stuff for our 12900K. We did it, I mean, Evo, a great example, Evo Cybernation, uh, he's got it in a custom water cool. His has been sitting in the 60s uh, when he's been doing stuff and people are just like, it's impossible to cool. I, I just don't understand that, right? Like, I just think one of the things I really enjoy about what we get to do is we get to test just a myriad, a large number, um, a larger sample size than most of other uh, most other most other studios do, and a lot of times we can come and say, "Hey, we're not seeing that problem." So, um, so yeah, that's 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 kind of my that's kind of my two cents. Like I love that people like want to get that and say that stuff in the chat. I just I, I'd rather us be kind. Like all in all, everybody's just trying to build PCs to do the work that they're going to do, and people are just happy. You know what I mean? So, uh, and that's what I'd prefer to do. And this person is going to be super happy. This is what they want. And so let's just let them enjoy, uh, let's just let them enjoy the nice stuff that they have, you know what I'm saying? So that's, I know, a little bit of a diatribe, but you know, I just feel like it has to be said. I just wish the PC tech community felt more like a dang community. Um, and that meant working with the, I think that means also working with the people who make this stuff. So it feels like we're doing stuff together because a rising tide floats all boats. That's, that's my thing. <clears throat> It wasn't, Sabine, it, I, I think it was more like a trigger. I think you're right. Like I wasn't, I am not angry or upset about the people making the jokes. I think it's just one of those things that it's kind of like the same thing. Like when we install an AIO and somebody's like, the, the, the machine is doomed because the AIO is the wrong way. And like, it took like, I don't know, videos from me, from Jay, from like 50 other people to sit there and say like, guys, did you actually watch the video? You know what I mean? So yeah, that's, that's, that's just my thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to be angry. I'm just trying to be like, Hey, just something to think about. Yeah. 
<clears throat> um, okay, so going from there for our storage solution, I uh, love these WD Black. We're going to be giving him two uh, PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSDs. Uh, these are going to be SN750 SEs. Love these. They're just, they're kind of at that right price. Again, having to get something like an SN850 from a gaming standpoint, this is literally just about gaming. Uh, you don't need anything faster than that. Like there's not a whole lot you're going to get from a performance standpoint. So paying that price, I really like that uh, WD made these. They're just at the cusp, cusp in terms of speeds of PCIe Gen 4, um, which is pretty cool. So we've got 1.5 terabytes there. Where is... <clears throat> Where is the RAM? You know, I just realized, like, I don't know where the RAM, like, I don't see the RAM. Okay, for our storage, I mean, for we've got an additional fan. This is a Fantex SK PWM DRGB. Where is our RAM? I feel like the RAM didn't get put in the slot, I mean, in the, in the, in the bag. So let me go find our RAM. This is Neo. Neo. Where's our RAM? I guess we'll use this. I, I was going to use something else, but I have this, and I'd rather give him what... Uh, he paid for 3,600 megahertz, so this will be okay. And then we'll wait for the other one to come in just to get it done. Yeah. Uh, just for now. So we're going to make a change. Um, so we're going to use G-Skill, but I don't see it in here, and I don't know if it got put in another container, and I don't want to Belay the show, delay the show anymore. So we're gonna use XPG Spectrix, their D45G. Uh, so this is 3600 megahertz. Uh, this is uh, uh, 32 gigs, so eight by two. I like the way this looks anyway, so it'll be a cool thing. And then we'll, again, we'll replace it with the stuff that's actually, we just gotta find it. Um, so here it is right there, uh, just so Tom can see it. So Tom, we're using the Spectrix D45G. Um, this is the eight gig kit. Um, and then uh, 182222. So yeah, there we go. So we'll use this for now. It was supposed to be G-Skill, but for some reason we can't seem to find the, the RAM. So uh, we'll use that for now uh, and go from there and find out where it went. So it is DDR4, this is DDR4. Yeah, it's a DDR4 uh, motherboard. So it's DDR4 RAM. Uh, for our power supply, uh, we're using the uh, Supernova 850G5. Um, again, he was really cost conscious. So like my recommendation a lot of times when it comes to these builds is to do, I would have preferred to use a thousand watt PSU uh, on this one. But again, he was like, man, I like, he's like, I understand I'm not gonna get the efficiency, but will I have an issue with an 850? I said with a G5, sorry, 850 G6, no, you won't have an issue. We're not gonna have anything like with it shutting away, shutting off or anything like that. So he's like, yeah, let's do that. Cause I'd rather have that 3080. And he was like stretching his budget to get the 3080 in there. Um, so yeah, so he went with an 850 G6. And then of course we've got, the big jig, the, <coughs> the big chungus here. Uh, I'm gonna move all this stuff over. Um, the biggest, uh, the biggest box GPU. I mean, I swear it's like it's like massive what we've got from a GPU standpoint here. Uh, the Aorus 3080 uh, Extreme uh, with that crazy, uh, that crazy screen and all of that sort of stuff. So um, should be uh, should be really rad in terms of how it looks. And then of course we just got to make sure that things look nice. We're all done with the uh, with our uh, with our Asia horse cable. So there's there's all of our parts. The chimmy chunk is yeah, it's chunk, right? Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a. I think this is going to be an absolutely great build. We will be replacing this with uh, G Skill. Um, well, it'll be uh, uh, 32 gigs of G Skill RAM. But for now, just because we have it, we're going to use this. Yeah, and Vitrify God, that's it's it's for the most part, it's probably okay depending on the PSU. We have seen circumstances where we've seen 850 watt GPUs uh, not able to, like uh, it, with severe loads with the 3080 actually shut off. So it goes from there. So yeah, it's an overkill PC. Should be, should be, should be good. What do you guys think? I think this will be a good build, right? It's gonna look really great. The one thing I love is how much room there is in the P500A. It's just a really easy case to build in. Uh, it's already got a lot of RGB as it is. And then we could just basically, um, we'll be able to just daisy chain most of this stuff together, which is gonna work really, really well. Uh, uh, Wandy, I, I, you'd have to post it again. I'm not gonna be able to see it. I'm not gonna stop the stream to go back, sorry. There's a lot of messages and finding it would just take a ton of time, so. Um, it's, yeah, it's, this, it's the Fantex P500A. We'll see it here in a minute. Uh, will IQ H100 cool a 1260? Yes. Yeah, 1260K is no problem. Those, those things run really cool. 
Um, and so, uh, in fact, we have a thousand dollar bill that we threw a 12600K in. Uh, absolutely love it. So, yeah, it should, Gigi, for sure. Hey, what's up, Aeronic? Okay, so here's all of our stuff. Uh, Virtual Apollo, all the giveaways are at the end. So just you just gotta chill, and then that's where all the giveaways happen. Okay, so we're gonna start putting all of our stuff that we don't need right now off to the side. If you had the space, I would, all the products because they look so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, some people do. I mean, for the most part, when we when we finish builds, we just give them the GPU prices. I mean, the GPU box and the motherboard box, which has all the extras in it, because most people just don't care about the PSU box and the. Some people like the CPU box, but I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Cooler Master Storm. Oh, I'm do. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen that one. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this while I'm here. I love this AIO. AIAIO. Red Dragon, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, Witchings, it's the uh, 3080 Extreme from Oris. It's a massive jump, Kyotastic. Wandy about what? Uh, I know who my mods are. They've been my mod for they've been my mods for decades, uh, and they're. Uh, they, I, I I would be surprised. I would have to tell them to do anything. So. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the prime sub. Okay, here we go. Now this is always the interesting thing. Like I will tell you, like as somebody who's built a number of. Uh, 12 of 12th gen Intel builds. By the way, huge shout out to, uh, I don't know, a uh, huge shout out to uh, uh, Josiah who took the time. We have to move this stuff over a little bit now. He took the time to center the Robitech a little bit more. So now it's just like it's all filled and it's it's like you get the actual logo and stuff. So there's a little bit of figuring out where our camera goes a little bit more. What used to be direct in the center now it's a little bit more left. Um, but I like the way it looks now. And you can see that our our mat is getting abused. A uh, little of this is my uh, my son who thought, hey, then how good is this with a knife? Well, yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you very much for all that stuff, guys. <clears throat> Would you rather recommend an eGPU or an upgrade? Igor, it depends on what uh, it depends on what your is in your laptop. I'm excited about this this motherboard, by the way. Beer Fry Shake, that's a name right there. It's his, there's his, well, I'm gonna take this out just because it takes up less room. Uh, motherboards with Wi-Fi, especially if you've got Wi-Fi 6. I'd say is it better than using a, a card. Because the other thing too is like, and then if it ends up, it's, an, I mean, if you need to upgrade, I guess if you care about being able to upgrade, I don't know, I don't even know about that. I, I think Wi-Fi 6 is gonna be a while. <laughs> yeah, Buster, I don't think, yeah, I don't think form factor would have an impact. It's four sticks of RAM. So we're gonna be filling all the slots. Wow, that is a chunky board. I mean, just how it feels when I opened it. I was like, holy moly, that is a chunky board. Okay, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it. So this, haven't seen this before. This is the Tomahawk uh, from uh, MSI. Uh, so uh, I, I like the way their boards are. Man, this thing is like sticky a little bit. It's just the PCB is actually sticky. So we've got USB-C, uh, all in all, I love, I love this. It's showing you all the places where your M.2s can go. It looks like you can actually do up to four M.2s, which is crazy. Uh, it's just, I like the design very, uh, again, this would actually probably end up being a really rad uh, motherboard for like a, a blackout build, like the one we did in the 011 Mini. So, I mean, even, look, check it out. Even the, even the, the, the uh, integrated IO shield all black, which is pretty cool. So yeah, uh, looks, looks beautiful, so. 
That's nice. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. This is interesting. Does anybody know what this is? Check this out. Look what it says on the on the thing. LGA 17X and LGA 18. Look at that. It actually says 18 on it. I don't. I haven't. I don't think I've ever seen that in a production unit that says LGA 18. So interesting. So going from there. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh, let's start getting it. Uh, it's a tomahawk. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot has changed since then. Yeah, 4M. That's one of the things I like about, especially, and I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, what AMD does too, right, with their 6000 series, but yeah. Does 32 gigs of RAM help? Yes. Uh, well, does it help? No, I think in that case, dual channel is more useful than necessarily the mount. The RAM is gonna be program specific. So, I mean, you can have 32 gigs of RAM, but it not really do anything because you're, uh, the, games you're running or what it go for there. <clears throat> yeah, new sock. Yeah, new socket confirmed right there. There's our little wafer. I love I just like Intel's packaging. They always like really do it right. Ooh, okay, here we go. I wonder how high the uh, socket is gonna pop this time. That's the question. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Just drop it in nicely. It's so funny, like I was talking to somebody and he's like, I want, we're, we're doing a PC build with a, uh, you know, for planning for mod Mondays and some of that stuff. They're like, I want him to make all the mistakes. He's like, you know, like putting the uh, the CPU in upside down and stuff like that. I was like, wow, that's actually really hard now because like a things like, for instance, there's dimples, etc., that keep you from doing some of that stuff. It's not to say you want to do that because you just have a chance of bending pins, which would be uh, which would be, make you sad. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's just get this put away. I love the the box. There we go. Cool. Okay, so there is our box in. Let's finish putting our CPU down. So what we're gonna do is just pop that. Now here we go. Let's see how high it pops. Whoa, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good pop. I'm just gonna put this down. And we are in. Now, one of the things that people have been doing, um, because there's a lot of pressure on the LGA, is they've been putting little washers uh, underneath uh, the the actually LGA 1700 sock to just bring some of the pressure off because I guess some CPUs have actually, and it depends, some CPUs have actually been getting a little bit of warping while in the socket. Um, we, we, like, we've checked a number of ours and we haven't seen that problem, but it, it has been in certain cases. So, um, but you know, it's just something to be aware of. Yeah, pop and lock. <clears throat> um, uh, it's usually motherboard specific. <clears throat> The, in terms of your RAM compatibility, it's not necessarily the, the that that chip would be fine with that much with that speed of RAM, uh, three thousand megahertz. We need Roby to talk more about liquid cooling, guys. We have some other liquid cool builds coming up. We did one whole one end to end, but what what kind of things are you looking for for me to talk about? Uh, Arrow G, yes, we have built in that yak. Okay, so we're just getting our storages in. Okay, I like how even MSI is now using the same stuff as uh, ASUS. I wonder if they pay. A, I wonder if they pay a licensing fee. Guys, we're thirty away from getting to that hundred. This is a twelve nine hundred K. What exactly does, it's not memory buster, uh, but that's a good question. It's not memory, it's it's storage, it's it's a hard drive. So what it does is it basically is allows you to store programs, applications, etc. So it's it's a, it's a hard drive. I think we, we try to cover that when we do the builds, 
uh, Braveheart, but we can look at doing a uh, video on it. Especially, I'd like to do one with PC Works. Like, I, I'm, I want to do a collaboration one where I have a bunch of people talk about the ins and outs, not just me. So I'm working on that video. Uh, I'm just going to get down. I just need to get down to San Diego, etc., to do that. Uh, yes, way faster than a SATA drive. Yeah, it's an SSD uh, rug burn. A very, 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 very fast SSD. Uh, to be honest, uh, Fatty Matty, the reason I would upgrade a CPU over a GPU at that point is that um, you can get a CPU a lot easier. I would say wait to get, I would like try, e either one of those, uh, you're, I mean, obviously you're gonna get the biggest jump from a GPU if you're just gaming, because a, 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 a 8700K would still be fine with a 3080. I mean, there's some bottlenecking at 1080p, but I mean, once you go to 1440p, et cetera, you're really relying on the on this GPU instead of the CPU. Um, so if you could get a GPU first, I would, but if you wanna get something quickly that just is gonna do some boost then upgrading a CPU, but then that means you're upgrading your motherboard, et cetera, right? Because all of those things are at higher platforms. Uh, uh, no, Derek, well, that's, we're doing 3,600 megahertz, uh, 3,600 mega transfers, as everybody's saying now, uh, on uh, this uh, Z690 with a 12900K. So no, that would not have an issue. Okay, so oh, let's get our other ones open. It just was, I'm, I'm distracted by the talking. You're welcome. No, no, we, we, that's what we're here for. We're here to answer questions. As best we can, right? There's a point that I start to kind of zone out and just get into the build, but while, I, while I'm doing this, this is pretty easy stuff. It's like, I'm, I'm just on autopilot, putting in CPU, I mean, putting in stuff right now. Okay, so we got everything open to put in our NVMe SSDs. That's our one terabyte, we want our 500 gig. We've got that cool little latch system here for this one. This is, I have to say, like this one has always been harder though. There we go. Okay, there's that one. This one we're just gonna screw in. So there's our one terabyte. Okay, we're gonna do our peel here. Wow, that is not on, oh, there it is. Oh, cool. Okay, we are in there. Okay, let's get our next one on. I love these. I love how the board, I like, it's funny. I just think like even I'm putting in the SSD, I mean the NVMe SSDs, like it's, uh, like I, I, I really enjoy how good they look. Like with the build as I'm putting it together. Making for some awesome just looking shots of putting the thing together. Now guys, don't forget, there is some stuff to be won. Uh, I know some people are talking about the 3050. There's some stuff to be won. We're gonna be announcing the winners uh, for the 3050 things. If you go watch that 3050 review, um, there's some, there's, I think there's $50, a two, uh, $50 to be uh, won just by watching that review and leaving feedback. So uh, head on over to our 3050 review and give it a watch. Learn about the 3050, what might be the right upgrade scenarios, etc. while at the same time, potentially walking away uh, with some cash in your pocket, so. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and grab our click, our clicker, just to make sure we can get some sound bits from our XPG RAM. Now this has got two, so there's a good chance the clicks on this are gonna be nice and loud, which everybody loves. Everybody loves the loud clicks. I mean, just show you like the PCs that I have. So Sammy, I, I don't want to ruin it for you, but you, what, there's a win and it's only, and we make them short. It's only like 11 minutes long. So you should, uh, you should give it a watch and you could potentially win some stuff.
Hey, Jordan, thank you for the sub, the resub. Thank you, seven months. We're getting close, guys. 71, we only have 29 more for the $100. So we're getting, we're getting there. Love to see if we can get to, I, I'd like to be at 150. We can get to 150 before the uh, next uh, hype train. There's a good chance we'll give away a CPU today or even a 3050. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's stop our music real quick. Just to hear how it goes. By the way, we're trying a new playlist today. So if you guys, uh, for those of you who are uh, more long-term listeners, let me know which one, or long-term viewers, let me know which one you like, if you like the old one or the new one. This one's a little bit more chill. Uh, first click here. Oh, oh, that was nice, guys. Did you hear that? 95, but it was solid. Like I felt that in my elbow and my pancreas. Um, yeah, that was like a double clicky clicky right there. That was nice. That was nice. Okay, that was a nice click. Good quality click right there. Okay, here we go. Next one. 91, but again, it, it, I, like that one was a little bit more like in my thyroid, but still very kind. I like the click. These are like solid clicks. Like they're like, I'm almost like feel like I'm cracking my neck. They're so good. Okay, here we go. Next one. Oh, that was grindy even a little bit. I like that. I like how clean these XPGs look though. They're just like nice looking RAM. No, nope, put it the right way. Again, we're just lining up the PCB with the line. Okay, last one. Not the best sounding, but again, every single one of them, solid feeling clicks. You know what I mean? So much more, uh, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, oh man, uh, I don't know. I just had, it just, it was more feeling than normal. But yeah, there we go. Some good clicks there. Some good clicks there. <clears throat> yeah, the night tactile, there you go, tactile. I like that, that's a good word. <clears throat> okay. I feel like now we're in a good spot. Let's go ahead and pop open our, uh, let's go ahead and grab our cooler and uh, man, uh, add the bracket. Ugh. I love this cooler, the black version. And by the way, it says LGA 1700 supported. So we should be good here. Zoom out a little. Now what we're doing here is just getting our bracket stuff out. There we go. So our stuff from it, what we need is, there's our 1700 stuff right there. Oh, it's even got a wider bracket. Okay, cool. So let's put that away. Get back to this a little bit later. Thank you. A-I-A-I-O. <clears throat> okay, there we go. There it is. Get this back. Okay, so let's just get this stuff set up and ready. So this is actually one of the newer ones. It's got the bracket for it and all that stuff. So there's our 1700 attachment. Uh, okay, flipping this over. Now it goes in just very easily. Oh, nice. Okay. There's that. Slide it down and up. Cool. Now, get our screws off.
Uh, OSM 13, I haven't heard anybody else complain about not having sound. Uh, Bry Gamer, uh, for streaming, because you're gonna be doing 1080p, I don't think you should get it. I think you should get a 3070 Ti and uh, just play it 1440p, because you're, you're, you streaming it 4K or anything higher doesn't make a lot of sense. What's up, Mr. Weaver, how are you? We were talking about you, I believe, yeah, about your build not that long ago, Mr. Weaver. I think you're the same Weaver. Yes, it is, Enigma. I can turn it up. Is the volume a little low, guys, for the set for the music? If you guys can't hear it, let me know. I'll turn it up a little bit. Uh, Naji, I did not. I was in the middle of just a little low. <laughs> there is music, okay. What is your, uh, so my thing is, is like if you're tight, <clears throat> that's a good question. To be honest, I haven't, t here's my thing, Nijia, I would love to say, I mean, I, like for me, cooling your CPU is just like making sure that your PC has enough power. The problem is, is that there are cheaper AIOs that actually might be fine and they're, 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 um, they're really well priced to try and compete in a market that's actually pretty saturated. So I can't say that every cheap, cheap, cheap AIO is bad. I wish I could test more of them, and maybe that's something that we might get into at some point in time. Um, but uh, the thing is, for the most part, I have a tendency to stick with ones that I know, like Fantex, uh, and, you know, Fantex, Cooler Master, i uh, sorry, Fantex, yeah, Cooler Master, Corsair, et cetera, given that I know that there's the support behind them and the R&D, but that may not mean that a cheap AIO is bad. So, yeah, exactly, because most of the tech is, is all pretty much shared anyway. But, I mean, for instance, there are cheap AIOs that are fantastic. The EVGA CLC AIO, incredibly inexpensive, not a lot of bells and whistles, hell of a cooler. Um, you know what I mean? Like the CLC 360, et cetera. So yeah, it really comes down to, uh, so it, cheap may not necessarily be bad if that makes sense, so. Okay, so uh, our motherboard is completely ready. Uh, so we're, we're ready to go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna strip down our case, kind of start getting our build into this. I love this case. If you guys, have, who's not seen, can I get a raise of hands? Uh, yes, Deep Cool, the gla their Glacier, uh, sorry, their, uh, their Castle 360, I love their AIOs too. Uh, who, oh, I'm glad, thank you, Ryza. Uh, who has never seen a P500A? If you are a new builder uh, and you are like, you're like, hey, I just want something that's really easy to build in that's got a lot of, of the bells and whistles without a lot of like just no fuss. This is the case for you. Absolutely love this case. Um, it's just a really great build experience. Um, and then it's just really easy. T tons of room for top mounting. Uh, you've got uh, just, it's got great RGB, great airflow. Uh, and then the only thing is, is like, you know, it's just, it's easy to kind of take apart everything about it, right? Like, it's just like here, we're gonna, we'll do the side panel here first. So I'll do it from, I'll grab our side, let's go to our side camera. Just basically, ugh. except for, except for sometimes the screws are a little tight, but yeah. And for me, one of the other things too, it's a nice touch, I don't know if you know this, but even is the stuff like, for instance, um, let me get that out of the way altogether. Uh, is like the, even having this so like you can just mount the PSU through the back a little bit easier There's just a lot of just great build experience stuff that comes with this case. Um, that's nice. So Let's realize I need to grab my the hardware for it, which is probably in the box here Because here's that really long velcro that comes with it so again and then taking the front glass off just really easy, pops off like that. It's like a Quintessig Agera. It's actually more of the, it's less than, why is it so out of focus? What is it focusing on? The camera's focusing on something. Let me see if I can get it to focus on what we need it to focus on. Oh, it's on manual, that's why. Oh shoot, he, he's, he's at the manual focus. 
We'll just see if we can get that. There we go. We'll just. There we go. So hopefully that stays more in focus. You can see a little bit better. The only thing too I really like about this case is this right here. These little doors for drop for putting things in for the um, like for putting in our things uh, for uh, uh, GPU cables, etc. Just makes it really easy. It's just it's just a really great case. And then again, stripping it down. I mean, even though we don't need to do this because we're not removing the fans, it's just easy to take apart. And then you have a ton of room in the back for things like cable management. Um, there's lots of Velcro straps. Um, and then the other thing too is from like, you've even like for RGB, the other thing I really like about it is not only do you have the RGB here in the, with the fans, but you also have an RGB light strip right here as well. Um, and the other thing too is like these fans, like their SK fans, their SK line of fans, really inexpensive. It's just, it's just a really value case and you get a lot for that value. Um, and, uh, and it's just, it's, it's very well made. So I absolutely love this case. It's still one of my favorite cases to build in. I'm gonna go find the box that has all the accessories in it. Cause it's not in here. Hmm, must be downstairs. Once I guys go pop downstairs, grab the P500. Case accessories. There they are. Okay, here we go. Got our little box of case accessories here. When they did the thumbnail, they forgot to put it back in the box. <clears throat> and then the other thing too I really enjoy, here's a top down, but the accessory kits for these as well. So here's what it comes with. Again, you can vertically mount if you wanna get the optional thing. But one of my favorite things about Fantex is this. All of their screws, come pre-sorted in a really great little container. So yeah, pretty cool. Just a great, I, I just really happy with Fantex and their quality. <clears throat> yeah, it just, it's, yeah, it's just a great, they just do a good, they just do good. And I'm, I'm excited, like I'm really excited about their new modular case they have coming out. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be just a good company. Okay, let's uh, put this down. Get ready to put a, put, a, put, a, put a motherboard in it. Okay, here we go. Ugh. There it is right there. You just pop it all the way over. And there it is, look at that, looks so good. Grab our little screws. <clears throat> yeah, they're 140 millimeter in the front. You can do a 140 in the back too, or a 120. Uh, and you can do 140s in the top as well. Yeah, the Tomahawk, yeah. The Z690 one. <laughs> yes, the, the Elite is good. The other thing too that's nice, Ike, is that you can just buy the uh, LCD upgrade kit um, if you want to. So if you, if you get an H150 at a later point, you wanna add all of the, uh, you wanna add that screen to it, you can do that too. Yeah, extreme gaming it really is. Is the i7-2600 good? Dude, how old is that? I mean the Ryzen 7, the R, the Ryzen 7? Dude, that's, I think that might predate me building. So I'm not sure. 
I like the P400, yeah, it's a good case, yeah. Do you like the one AIO that has the pump in the radiator? Because that's the only I would trust besides the H150. Uh, Wandy, you're talking. Are you talking about the the like the MSI ones that have the pump on the ra on the actual um, on the uh, radiator itself? I mean, I I trust the Glacier, the Fantex Glacier. I tr trust any many of the ones from um, Fractal, uh, NZXT. I mean, the thing is, is like as nice as the H150 is, the NZXT ones perform better. Yeah. Uh, it's it's whether you need it or not. There's no justification, AJ. You, you, you need, if you need a GPU, that's what justifies it. If there's something that you're doing that you need the, the power for. Uh, because people think the 4000 series is coming out soon and it's not. And I don't understand, like if people are saying waiting, why do you think it will be better? Um, so if you can, I mean, like the thing is, I'm not saying that I definitely don't think you should pay, you know, over the price, right? I don't, I don't know if anything's critical that you should pay over the price, but I mean, there's plenty of options to get PCs with brand new GPUs without overpaying necessarily. Is not. Okay, cool. Okay, so our motherboard is in right now. Uh, wow, we could do quite a few things. It's funny because this build, like because of how we how little we have to really kind of do. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and push these back just to prep this for putting front panels in. And then let's put our rear fan in. The Obsidian 1000D. It's, we built, I mean, Evo Cyber Nation's PC was in that and it was a lot of work. Uh, rumor is sometime in March, KevTech. But we don't know. I did not tent it, sorry. Sometimes I'm looking down at the build. I apologize. I don't know, I didn't see the tip. Uh, Blondie, did I miss a tip? If I did, I'm super sorry. Can somebody on YouTube confirm? Motherboards are not, the motherboards aren't bad or good for gaming. There isn't such thing as a, as a bad motherboard for gaming, right? Unless it's like, I mean, gaming is really, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, Chad, am I wrong? Is there something, I'm trying to think, right? And maybe just because I'm building, I'm, I'm distracted. Anybody think, is there a, such a thing as a bad motherboard for gaming? Okay. Okay, Sabine, there you go. I, I guess I'm like, I'm thinking recently. Yeah, not really. Okay. I'm just curious. I don't think so. Yeah, but so many things are called gaming. It's funny, I had this conversation with uh, a couple folks that gaming is such a convoluted thing, but when you really take it, when you really like break it down, what about a motherboard would make the gaming experience bad? You know what I mean? And that's where I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what would make the gaming experience bad on a motherboard. Yeah. Yeah, fatty Maddie, but that's not really a gaming thing. That's like more of like, hey, that's like, hey, if I want to overclock, then yeah, you need to have a motherboard that supports overclocking. But that wouldn't really like that. I guess it kind of affects gaming, but most people don't over like overclocking is less than 1% of owners. It's super niche.
Yeah, I think that's, yeah, I think Sabine, that's, I think that's the right way to think about it. And I hope you're Sabine and not Sabin, but um, that it is. It's more about the features that you want for your build or for what you're gonna do with the PC. That's for MOBO, but saying, hey, is it gonna affect gaming? For the most part, it's gonna be so within the margin of error that I wouldn't use that as a reason to choose something. And a lot of times, like I'll have people, they'll be like, oh, I wanna, I, my budget for my PC is blah, blah, blah. And I wanna get like a, like a hero, like a, uh, a Z690 hero. And you're like, and they're like, I was like, oh, or are you gonna water cool? Like, what, are you overclocking? No, no, it's, it's for gaming. And I'm like, then why the heck are you spending $400 on a motherboard? And then sometimes they're like, well, because I just want to. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, that's just you doing you. But, you know, might, why not get a Z690 like dash G or dash F or whatever, you know? <clears throat> Way of the Halo, it can't. It actually can have an impact on gaming. The problem is, is that it's it's overclocking RAM is so motherboard dependent. Like you can't. It does impact frames, right? You know what I mean? It's like it can, um, but it, it can be negligible. But it's you know people think it's straightforward. Just because XMP a, a motherboard supports XMP or there's an XMP profile does not necessarily mean that it's going to work. I mean. The thing about RAM is RAM still has a silicon lottery just like everybody else. And some of it's just gonna be what it is. You know what I mean? And just because even when a motherboard says, like, you know, when they have like on the PVL, which is the, sorry, the preferred, yeah, PVL, the preferred vendor list. And it'll say that it supports a certain one that doesn't actually still not guarantee that it's gonna work. <clears throat> yeah, it can, <clears throat> overclocking RAM can have an impact for sure on your performance. I am not gonna lie, it can. I'm just saying that <clears throat> when you talk about the frame differences, it's, that's where it goes, yeah. <clears throat> uh, preferred QV, uh, qualified vendor list, PVL is a, pre a preferred vendor. Uh, yeah, you're right, that's what I was looking for, QVL. That's the right one, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Reaper. I just used the wrong TL, uh, the wrong TLA. But yes, I'm talking about the uh, qualified vendor list, yes. Yeah, so original Parker Bot, the thing is, is that you can go, that's where you're gonna have to go in and do your own timings. And that's the thing is like, I do have people going, they'll, they'll start being like, well, you know, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna keep setting XMP. And a lot of times, update your BIOS, upgrading your BIOS ends up being the right solution, right? Like that ends up building a lot of stability around it. But if that doesn't work, you're gonna have to just manually start playing with your timings until you can find something that's stable. No, there is not a good way. I will say one thing, right? So the thing is, is if you, I will tell you a couple things that people don't know. One, uh, you need to buy, if you're going to have, if you buy two different kits, let's say for instance you buy two eight gig kits, uh, there is a chance that uh, unlike a group of four, the timings and the odds of you buying of overclocking working with a single group of four over two groups of uh, two groups of two is higher because of how that, uh, basically, because you know that the silicon in those, all four of those dims are the same, and so the odds of all of them working together is better. So if you're going to, you need to make, making a decision and buying a group of four versus two groups of two uh, is going to give you a better chance of your overclocking working with XMP. Um, outside of that, obviously buying uh, higher quality RAM, so buying something from like Corsair, G-Skill, et cetera, and the more you spend, the better the chance that the overclock is going to stick. So, um, because they're basically looking at, <clears throat> yeah, matching the model, but even then, or chaos, like uh, I was talking to JJ over at Asus, and even then, even if you match the model numbers, because when they when they actually take the dims and put them together, the dims are, the like when you get a, a pack of four, those dims are all paired in the same way. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna start getting this put together our beautiful AIO here. The 
the fact of the matter is, is like, that's the problem is a lot of things is it's just samples, right? Like we've had the same motherboard, the same motherboard, same RAM kit from, you know, all in all. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, right? The problem is, is that we have a larger sample size than most people, right? Like somebody says, well, I've never had a problem, but I mean, realistically, how many PCs have you built, you know? And so, yeah, to say that it's just like, it's hard. It's like, yeah, you, that, that may not necessarily mean that there's not a problem, you know, versus like us who've built literally hundreds of these things. And so we've, you know, we see just a bigger, a bigger sample size. Okay, there we go. Does this have, they put, they actually, oh wow. They actually put peels on this thing now. That's new Fantex. Ooh, look at that shiny. That's new, I've never seen that on a Fantex fan before. You actually have to do peels now. You got like a metal badge on the back. Looks a little bit better, which is nice. So if you got if you wanted to do a intake versus exhaust, it doesn't look bad. Well, these are a little harder to peel though. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, and then one the other thing I like about this is like the fact that they make them really easy to daisy chain. Okay, let's see. We want to do this like this, which means I have these backwards. There we go. I just like little smart, smart design things like just even this that I don't have to now worry about cable management. There we go. And the other thing too that's really nice about Fantex is that for their RGB, they actually use their halos, which means you're getting none of the negative effects of adding RGB to your fans because RGB, as nice as it is, it actually impacts performance on fans. So the way Fantex gets around it is they use these halos, which go around it and then with white fans, um, they end up looking like they're RGB. And honestly, these things shine so bright. And obviously you're losing a lot of the addressability uh, that you get with like Corsair fans and stuff like that. But um, yeah, these things are just bright. Yeah, do they play the, do they play? No, they don't. Fortunately, she wouldn't give them the copyright. What is that, Wan, the, Wan, I don't understand what that means. Wandy, there's so much to unpack in that statement that may not mean anything. Okay, so we're gonna get our screws out here. There they are. I feel like there's definitely an upgrade here with uh, their packaging, right? They used to, they're using like, uh, yeah, they make the fans look super clean. Yeah, they've really kind of upgraded themselves. So then, so this is, so now they give you the longer screws, which is nice in a separate bag. And you have to use different ones for this because the, the, the screws for the fan are a lot longer with the halos. There we go. Let's 
It's funny, I built one of these, just built one of these just not that long ago. This is almost the exact same thing. It was with, a, it was an all white one um, with the white glacier. I like these AIOs a lot. go uh word or god it just comes automatically actually i think there is a command i think it's exclamation point build i'm not sure but uh i think uh i think that's a mod only command but you can go to robitechdeals.com slash stream builds and then like it's all there too And if you're over at YouTube, it's actually in the description. Okay, there we go. Now we do have a lot of cables because of the RGB, uh, the halos. I mean, it's nice that the, uh, the glacier basically makes it easy, but the, anytime you had RGB, it's like, okay, now we have cables we gotta worry about. go getting that down So I'm going to take a quick minute, just tell people about the giveaways again, since people are curious, right? I want to make sure that people are aware of what's happening from a giveaway standpoint. So we have, we have a number of giveaways that are going to happen today on the stream. So first one is we have to hit two level five hype trains. We've already hit one. So we only have one more that's going to hit a little bit later. So that is going to happen near the end. That's for a 250 gig NVMe. If you go over to youtube.com slash Robitech, hit that thumb up button. If we get 500 likes on the YouTube, then we'll also give away a 500 gig NVMe SSD. Finally, uh, down there in the corner, you see where it says 73 of 100. If we get to 100 subs, it becomes a $100 new gift card, 150 subs, $150 new gift card, and then it starts becoming uh, CPUs, GPUs, etc. cetera. Uh, lastly, we are giving away a 3070 Ti. It's a sub only giveaway for the month of January. If you want to get in on that, uh, the way that you do is you just drive your free Prime sub over at twitch.tv slash Robitech. Um, that will get you an entry in. Uh, if you've been gifted a sub from so many people who gift subs here on the show, then you can use it to double your chances uh, because you can have extra entries. And so the guy who won in July won a 3080 Ti just off of a single Prime subscription. Lastly, if you want to get extra entries, you can gift subs. One per gifted sub gets you an extra entry. Uh, if you uh, subscribe at tier two, you get five extra entries and you subscribe at tier three, you get 10 extra entries. And again, that's all over at twitch.tv slash Robitech. Now, lastly, we have a new prize. We're giving away $25 just cash to people who basically do a comment once the YouTube ends and we go offline, head on over to youtube.com slash Robitech, click on this live stream, leave a comment, some feedback, something quality. It can't be, I deserve to win. It can't be, I have a free, can I have a free PC? It has to be a quality comment. And we'll be choosing one of those quality comments at the end of every week for every video. Um, is All you have to do is you also have to be liked and subscribed to your YouTube, as well as um, you just have to make sure we have a way to contact you in your YouTube profile. I will never respond to your chat. I will never respond to your chat and let you know if you win. You will be, you will be uh, notified via the YouTube contact information you leave in your profile. So those are all the giveaways that are happening. If you want to get in on that, those are the things that are happening now. So there it is. So much work, and that's it. Yeah, eyes die dead, but that's how we're basically, that's how we get our feedback, and that's how we improve. We want feedback. So if you don't want to, if you don't care to, that's okay, man. It may not be worth your time. So I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so we got, this is pretty much ready to go. Um, I, what I am gonna do now though, just string all these two. Well, no, I, I'm gonna keep these separate. I need to, mm, this is, one thing that's kind of crazy is you need to know. So I'm gonna do the, this one, and then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Take this. I'm gonna leave this one tied together. There we go. So I just know which one belongs to which. I've gotten to the problem now where I like, instead of like trying to figure this out, and then this one, which is in the middle, I'll just put the little twisty tie around the end. So I'll know that these are different. Okay, cool. 
Now the last thing I want to do, and this is just to make sure it's easy for me to kind of string this stuff through, because we ended up, I ended up having like a lot of issues with keeping this clean. I want the this right here. Um, where is our longer? So it's like for right there. Okay, cool. Now, put all this stuff away, this away. Want this out for later. This out for later. This out for later. This is all extra stuff. Spare baggie. <clears throat> okay, sorry, just getting our workspace kind of cleared up so we have room to do stuff again. What's up, PC guy? How are you, man? It's good to see you. Okay. Oh, let's get that over there. Okay, here we go. Back to it. Okay, we're going to grab this one. that through. Okay, what we're doing here is just getting this stuff cleaned up so we have a nice clean set up for, for uh, cable management purposes. Hey, hello from Romania, thank you. I like how there's multiple PC guys. And I like how they act like friends, which is nice. It's like just a great community where it's like, hey, all the PC guys are getting along. Now, the only reason I'm doing this, guys, is to keep this, like I wanna just make sure that these stay hidden, like when we build the build. I mean, we, we have it all done. Uh, yeah, it's just cooling capacity for three fans versus two. And a lot of time it's just what they have, like they might run an overclockable OS or something like that. So that's usually when you see three fans. Some of them you don't need to buy a three fan version. Let's just be really clear. I think people would agree with that. Okay. go. Cool. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Let's grab our case. Let's get our thermal paste on. real quick. <clears throat> okay, let's grab, let's get some thermal paste on this bad boy. 
Just wanna make sure that the entire IHS is covered. So zoom in a little bit. There we go. There we go. This stuff spreads really well, so don't need to put a bunch. <clears throat> The only reason a lot of people undervolt GPUs is because their power supply can't handle it or for heat reasons. I don't know, I don't have an issue with it. It's just, you, it's not something you need depending, I don't know why you would need to do it if, depending on if you properly do your builds, so to speak. But I don't know, chat, thoughts, undervolting GPUs? There's something I'm missing. Nice, clean, smooth amount of thermal paste. Uh, I don't think you're like getting any like real long-term longevity and I don't think that's been tested, Sammy. Okay, now let's put our AIO on. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna get our mounted AIO. Now there is thermal paste on this AIO right now. We'll remove it, right? But it's not gonna cover anywhere near the amount of IHS space I wanna make sure is covered. I just wanna make sure the entire CPU is covered and being cooled when it hits the cold plate, which is why I apply my own. Okay, all our cables are through. Grab our spare. We got to make sure that we had screws out here. go. There's one. <sighs> no, that didn't work at all. Magnetic sometimes is a, there we go. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> 
Okay, let's go to top down so you guys can see that I've got everything mounted now. Well, you get a great view of not a lot of that. There we go. Just gonna get these mounted now. I think I might do just a couple with the washers just to hold it in. The rest of them I'm just gonna do. There we go. Just getting our screws in now. I'm not gonna put washers on everything because it keeps it a little bit fat, but I like to use a couple washers just to see. So that way if it pulls, like it's gonna, it won't strip all the way through. So if it drops or something like that, but it doesn't do the necessarily the best job of holding the, the AIO in, so. That's mostly for shipping purposes. Adds a little reinforcement to the thicker ones. I'll just do one on like every kind of middle one. There you go. How are we doing on likes? There you go, cool. Okay, so that's all done now. <clears throat> okay, there we go. There's that, AIO is mounted. Let's get it, let's get it uh, installed now. Let's grab some. Or some more of these. go. Okay, let's grab our LGA 1700 bracket. Okay, now we need our screw top. I guess I left those in here. There they are.
Oopsie. Get in there. All the extra material in case he changes his, I mean, not that you, I don't know what you would use this stuff for anymore. Unless you went to a, move this to an older build, I guess. I don't know. But we're still gonna be nice, make sure he has it all. There we go. Go. Whoa, that did not go on at all. Seems like we have plenty of room here. Weird. Okay, there we go. Last one. Five dollars. Thank you, Gandalf. Gandalf. Yes, I would say you were very much. Uh, wait, all right, wait. Eleven. I, the nineteen hundred K. Did you mean like twelve nine hundred, eleven nine hundred K, ten nine hundred K? But anything below twelve nine hundred Ks are a significant leap in performance for gaming. go. CPU fan, no pump fan. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that. We'll move this up. Uh, okay, I need our cover. Put it on the right way, Rose. Okay, so we got that now. Let's go and get our little cover on, and we'll be good.
What the? Oh, no. Did I put this on backwards? I think I did. Oh, no. <laughs> I put something on backwards, which I did not expect to do. It's a relatively easy thing to fix. I just got to pull the, got to dismount the AIO, unfortunately. One of the cables is on backwards. <clears throat> oh, wow. Way to go, Roby. We'll get it fixed, though. Luckily, we got the wow stick out now, so it's faster. I should have been using it before. So one of the cables, I have the cable in backwards. And so it's all, it's all ready, and it sucks because I mounted everything, but um, yeah. I have to fix this now. It's like little mistakes like that where you're like, dang it. That sucks. Okay. Dang it. But I don't know another way to fix it, so I'm gonna fix it the right way. Okay, so this is gotta be the other way. And we have a couple cables to pull through. This has got to be connected the other way. There we go. Okay, now it's fixed. And we're going to go ahead and hook it up. Okay, so it's hooked up now. Run that through. Okay, now it's correct. Okay, it's correct now, and it's hooked up the way it should be. So now we just gotta add our safety washers here. Okay, and now we can put the rest of these in the normal way and then we're good.
three more screws. And okay. Okay, so we got all of those in now. The wires are still hidden, which is great. Oh no. There we go. Okay. Now let's get this little bit cable managed. This just little top part here. So it just looks nice. <clears throat> Actually, it probably doesn't need to be. We could put those tight, I guess. Just be a little bit nicer up here. Okay. Trying to rotate the cable thing around so you can't see it. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a really clean there. Okay, so let's get everything connected up in the back. And then we'll run our front panel connectors, put in our GPU. It's actually like pretty far along. Okay, so we have some fans to get hooked up, etc. So we got fans that we gotta get. I wonder, do I have another fan header up here? Find out my fan headers real quick. So we have one, we have one down in the corner, th four, three. I wish, I like it better when they have a fan header up by the EPS. It's actually really nice. Do I have room? I do have room here to run one down there. through our VRM here. For the exhaust fan. So what we're doing here, let me get you guys some light so you guys can see a little bit better in the case. So you guys can see a little bit better. So what I'm doing right here is I'm running this, this fan thing. I'm gonna run it through the VRM down here, to this header down here. Oh, it can be tricky, by the way. Stuck on something. Whoa, what the? stuck on something. Crud.
Oh no. I think it's stuck in something. I don't know what it's stuck into. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna come. I don't know how that got stuck. Oh, it's right here. It's stuck right where it needs to be. Oh gosh, okay. Hold on. I, it's like, oh, it's stuck. Wait, it's right where it needs to be. Okay. That's the best. When you find out it's doing what it's doing, keeping you from having to do something dumb. Okay, here you go. No, crud. Come back down. Oh, shoot. Things I do for clean runs. Okay, good. Got it. clean run for our exhaust fan. Rad, happy. That was a lot of work. Okay, cool. Okay, now we got our exhaust fan hooked up. Makes me happy. Okay, now what we gotta do is daisy chain all these together. So that's our middle fan. Go to top down. Woo! Jason, Justin, what is going on? Okay, that's our middle fan. This is our right now, okay. So what we're working on right now is just daisy chaining all of our stuff together. This is our RGB for our AIO. Let me go into our middle fan. Let me go into our... Okay, so this, all this stuff is now daisy chained. All of our RGB is hooked up. Now what we gotta do is go to this and find our one fan. That is not daisy chained here. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, so it's one of these. Okay, so it's not that, oh, there it is. Dang it, did I really do the backwards? This is how we get it all together. Problem is we now want it the other way. So, so take this one, switch it around. This is gonna go into this. So I have to reverse it. That's gonna go into here. Okay. I'm gonna reverse this. This is gonna come out. It's gonna go into here. I'm going to take this and reverse this and come out. This is going to go into here. And then this is going to go into here. Okay, now we have everything hooked up correctly. Now we got to do is unconnect, uh, remove these because I don't need them anymore. They're just garbage. They were just for my, so I could find stuff. Okay, so there we go. Now we are ready to just take this and this goes into this and now everything is all daisy chain. Cool. So this is all daisy chain now and our all of our stuff appears cooked, hooked up. Hold on one sec, guys. Wife is calling, see what she wants. You're live on Robitech, what's up? Well, hi. Hi. 
Yes, or Kids Matinee production is over, and we're going to hang out, and then the 7 o'clock will end about 8.30. Okay. And then we'll be home after that. Okay, sounds great. Okay. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got everything hooked up. Now what we got to do is let's start getting everything onto the motherboard. That's what we're going to start doing now. So we've got everything ready to go. Our cooler's done. This is like kind of the bit before the fun part, which is getting our uh, getting our GPU hooked up and stuff like that. So we're just kind of at the like the pre cable management phase. You don't need to worry about that. That's our SATA for connecting. Okay, so let me just see where our USB 3.2 on the side. Okay, cool. Luckily, there's not this is like pretty straightforward build to do. So HD audio, we can put that one in there. That goes right here. So there's our HD audio. We're gonna take our USB 3.30, 3.2. That's gonna go right up here. Okay, we're gonna find our USB C. Untwist it from everything here. Because it also needs to go up here, like so. Okay, so there's USB C. Then we have, not important, all of our fans. We have two here. Okay, three. Okay, so RGB. I think can go here. We're gonna find out. Front panel connection. This is our power switch. The only but the only thing we got to plug in goes right here. I think all of our fans. We'll have to guess. I'm gonna put them all right here for now. One more fan we'll put over here. Okay, and the rest of this. So that's all of our all of our front panels are wired now. Okay, so they're all they all should be in the right place. Let's flip it over. There we go. Ooh. I love that when everything comes out anyway. Okay, well we got some of them stayed, some of them did not. Okay, so first one that we're gonna hook up, USB 3.2. Just coming in at a 90 degree angle. There it is, okay. Next one is USB-C. Nope, not that way, it's gonna be the other way. There we go. There's those. Okay, down here we have our power switch. We go right there. We're gonna take our, okay, so we're gonna rewire these. HD audio is gonna go right here. Okay, so all we have left is two, we have two fans, which are great. We have all our little fan things, but everything else is really kind of hooked up. So we're gonna figure out our shortest fan cable here. It's gonna be this one. Go right here. And these are gonna go in here. also going to go in here. Okay. So our last couple cables here. Fan one. Right here. There we go. Fan two. Right here. Fan three came out again. This doesn't really want to get hooked up at all. Okay, fan three. And I'll walk you guys through what I did, just so you guys can see. It's a little hard with my giant noggin in your head, in your way, but the RGB right here. There we go. 
Okay. Okay, so here's what we hooked up. Just so you guys can see, we'll zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we have HD audio down here in the bottom left. Uh, then we have our RGB next to it right here. I know the, sorry, the thing is in there. RGB next to it. So this controls all of our RGB for the motherboard in one RGB header. Uh, we've got one, our, one of our front panel fans, second of our front panel fans, third of our front panel fans. This is your front panel power switch right here. Uh, then you've got USB-C and USB 3.2. Then up here at the top, we've got our pump and our, we've got our pump, this is our AIO pump, and then all of our fans for the AIO plugged into here. And then over here on the left, kind of hard to see, but this is our exhaust fan right here. So that's everything plugged in. So now we're gonna flip it over, get it cable managed, put in our GPU, put in our cable extensions, our PSU, and then we're done. So we're kind of on the downhill now. Board, PC's looking good. Nice dark theme. Ugh. Just gonna get this wire mess under control, which actually will not take all that long. Getting to the end of this bag here. Cable management time, guys. start to just pull things over into a nice like long group I think Obsidian Liger, the Liger, I think the big one for me is just watch a lot of YouTube videos and just take your time. Uh, the one thing I will say is like, even though I cable manage as I go, um, I think cable managing as you go, if it's, especially if you're a new builder, don't cable manage as you go. Make sure you get everything hooked up, do a test run, turn it on, make sure it works first, and then uh, cable manage it. I'm just, I'm just overly confident. So that's, I think it's the one thing I'll say. A lot of people like to say, oh, I had to, like I did all my cable stuff. It's like, yeah, but I've built, you know, 160, or sorry, 160, that was last year alone. I've, I've built hundreds and hundreds of PCs, so um, I'm just a little bit more confident, that's all. Uh, this is, I think we're on, we're coming up on, we're on our second, little over our second year um, in terms of, but you know, in terms of hardcore, a little over our second year. Maybe longer, I don't know. I don't ever remember how old my, when my birthday is. So if it's longer, I apologize. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I like, I find it satisfying. 
kind of the same way. Yeah, they're four, you can, it's so you can install SSDs, these three, these three right here. So you can put SSDs in the build if you wanted to. They don't have, like, so it's just an easy way to install SSDs. How do you know your GPU is dying? Oh. Hmm. You guys enjoying the show? Good, I'm glad. Some people say it's it's like just therapeutic watching PC builds. Okay, now we work on start going towards the front. Javier, I haven't had that problem. Just sitting here dreaming, huh, Lone Star? <laughs> we'll get we'll get to your build at some point. Don't worry, man. We'll get there. Uh, Royal Ghost, I'm reading. Uh, uh, I'm reading all of them. I have. Uh, I'm streaming to four channels right now. So I'm reading multiple channels, yes. Congratulations, the Hulk. That's huge. I know a lot of people are excited when you win the shuffle. Did you just win it today? If so, congratulations. If not, well, still, that's still awesome. No, no worries, Royal Ghost. You wanted to ask, I wanted to give you the answer. All 
I mean, I, not that that's an issue. I mean, the thing is, is that game still pushes. I don't know if that's an issue for it to pull that much power. I don't have, I don't know if I have a strong opinion one way or the other about it. Okay, this is where. No, I do not think Gears of God of War is the new Crisis at all. I mean, it's pretty, but it's no, it, Crisis, especially with the new one just announced, Crisis is a very different game. And the only two is still God of War is PlayStation 5. I think, I think right now Cyberpunk and Flight Sim are more akin to Crisis than Gears of, than God of War. No, hold on, wife is calling one more time, guys. Be prepared, be on your best behavior. When the wife calls, be on your best behavior, guys. Hello. I'm talking about you, good now. What's up? Brenda, you called me. Oh, yeah, I think my wife called me and didn't know. I think we just got a Roby 2 butt dial. I think we just got a Roby 2 butt dial. And it's a fine butt, but I got butt dialed. these to be at a 90 degree angle. I want these right here. I don't want those to move from there. And we still have GPU, PSU cables have to come out of this, but some of this stuff I'm not, I'm just gonna keep it just because of the way it works. Uh, Royal Ghost, the 3090 announced, I'm, I'm not too excited about. I like the 3050 a lot. Um, I know not everybody shares my opinion, but I have a whole review on it if you want to take a look at it. But uh, yeah, which, you know, again, you can also win something by watching the uh, 3090, uh, the 3050 review. Uh, I heard the 3090 is, uh, they've stopped production. Um, they've stopped production of it, and it's like it's been it's been postponed to around when the ARC is supposed to be released, which is sometime in March, which is Intel's uh, CPU. I mean, GPU. So that's my opinions so far. But if you want to see my full rundown, I got like who should buy it, who shouldn't, what makes sense and all the perf stuff. Elbow cough? What's that mean, Jacob? Oh, you must be maybe you're reacting to something. I always forget that there are other like there are conversations that have nothing to do with me happening in the chat sometimes. So it's like it's like I'm like wait wait I did I miss something and then I realize oh yeah I probably did because they're talking to each other. Yes, the 2060. It is it is for certain people. Like it's great for people who want to build like thousand dollar new builds now, but it's not, it's not really a great upgrade GPU. That's kind of my two cents, right? Like I think, does that, if you guys think that recaps what I, what I kind of said. Okay, okay, let's get rid of this. Cables are kind of there. I 
do one more right there just to clean that little bit up right there and then I mean it's actually a pretty it's still a pretty good GPU I mean yes I mean if you if like you had to in a pickle but yes given I don't know if it's the best one to pair with a 5900x it's for like a 12400k or a you know even a 5600x or There you go. There we go. Okay, let's get this now cleaned up. So it's just like, for stuff I'm not gonna use, which is all on the other side. Okay, we're just getting this little, like these little spare things that are not, so they don't show in the front of the case at all. No, not you. You do not, you, or you need to not be in there. Okay, now let's flip this over. Everything's hooked up. Cable managed under control. Do that later. Looks pretty clean, right? Back looks good, front looks good. And that'll clean that up. Actually, you can put that one in now. So I don't have to worry about. Put this one down. There we go. This one will still go up, but everything else is clean. Okay. Build is ready for GPU. We should be able to hit hype train here pretty soon, pretty quick. 
Guys, we're 19 away from a $100 new gift card, which means we're gonna be super close. We can take this off now. That's ready. Let's grab our GPU. Get a drink. Thank you, guys. I'm glad people are enjoying it. <clears throat> Hey, thanks, Red Dragon. Oh yeah, one more thing, and we've hit, we've hit, uh, we've hit hype train. One more thing, one more item. Juggalo dropping it in there. It's, it's apparently it's good. Wait, hey, one more. Come on, guys. We just need a sub. There it is. Hype train started. There it goes. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get to 150. It's up to you guys. Remember. So uh, last time to get in on that 3070 Ti giveaway, uh, 3070 Ti for uh, the um, for uh, the month of January over at Twitch.tv slash RobyTech. Just drop your free Prime sub. You're entered to win. If you want to get extra entries, you can do things like gift subs. Uh, you can also do things like uh, don't uh, gift subs, which gets you one extra entry per. Um, or you can do things like uh, uh, subscribe to tier two or tier three. They get you five extra inches for tier two and 10 extra inches for tier three. So let's get it, let's get it done. Four minutes and 20 seconds, we'll, we'll, we'll nail this. We're gonna kill it. We, we had probably one of the best uh, hype trains for the first. Let's see if we can, we can have a really rad one uh, for the second. And then, okay guys, we're at four and three of 500 on the, uh, on the uh, YouTube light too. Thanks Lone Star. Four minutes, guys. We got a long way to go still. Let's get those hype, the the sub sub things going. Yeah, regular sub has entry too, yes. There we go. Eight, eight tracks kicking it off. We got BJ Blind Leader driving with Prime. Anonymous Gifter, gifting a gifted sub. Good now, dropping some bits. We got Bar... Barbarian dropping five gifted subs. Thank you, Barbarian. Evil is she guy? One month at tier one. Thank you, sir. There it is. Look at that. Look at that hype going. Ten more, and then we're on our way to hundred dollar new gift card. I mean, we're past hundred, on our way to one fifty. Uh, Smurfy Bear, all the all the rules are up on uh, on Discord. If you want to know about it. So and no, it's it's checked by our legal team. Level four, come on guys, let's get those last 10 at least. Hooden, thank you very much, Evilish guy. Kmuff808, thank you very much. Holiday50, thank you very much for your Prime sub as well. Nate America, thank you very much. Nate America, thank you very, uh, Brantley Tutin, good now, thank you very much as well. Five more subs, guys. Let's get to a little, let's get to that, let's get to that at least 100. Ooh, Cappy SW, there he is, taking to us 100. We're on our way to 150 now, guys. $150 new gift card is next. Uh, okay, we're at exactly 100. I'm gonna do the next one. Okay, so we're on our way to 150. We need 150, we have 100. Starting that now. Looks like SRT Balthazar getting us in one, so we're at like 101, let me fix that. Okay, there we go. There we go, 102 guys, on our way to the next one. Oh, lost my chat. Let's 
Let's finish it out. We can do it. Yeah, PC ASMR. We're close, guys. Then we're going to get right to our doing our GPU. Hey, there we go. Wet men mer member. Grow spout. There we are. Now we're at level five. And we're on our way. Juggalo dropping another thousand. Marathon dropping 32, dropping a community sub. Thank you very much, man. 45 subs away. We are on, we're getting close to the top gift card right now. So let's see if we can finish it out. Love to get at least 150 bucks out. Two minutes, 28 seconds, guys. Then we're gonna open this bad boy and finish this build. Our 3080 Extreme. Purple day, what does that mean, Ghent? Good now, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Two minutes, guys. I think we can do it. I think we can hit 150. I think we can hit, in two minutes, I think we can hit 150. Yeah, 38. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I like it. RDR fan, thank you for the 200 bits, my friend. Gun lagger dropping 200 bits. It is, it's a cool graphics card. It's gonna look really nice. Ooh, Darth Zelendier, 106. We're getting, we're getting, we're climbing. We're climbing, we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna get to, I think we're gonna get to 150 subs. I think we can do it. With 60 seconds, it would just I'd love to see just like a, a smattering and then we'd be on our way towards, uh, you know, 496, 754 people here today. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good amount. Look at that, Juggalo drying, people trying to make it happen. W5ERX radio giving it out. Juggalo Jimmy Govin 5 gifted subs. It's going, it's going. People are trying to start the train. Red Dragon dropping a thousand bits. Thank you, Juggalo. 23 seconds. Can we do it? Red Dragon dropping 500 more bits. The man, the myth, the legend. Our last month winner. Okay, well, maybe my faith was not true. But regardless, it was still a killer hype train at 113 from there. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. Wet, ma wet, mur wet Murmur giving out one more gifted sub. To get us to 114, that is a that is a great success. I'm I'm super grateful. Thank you guys. And then Red Dragon dropping five gifted subs to go with it. There we go. 119. We're so close. 34 subs. 72 bit. 7200 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings from Chile. Okay, let's open this thing. What do you guys say? You guys ready for the fun? GPU time. Ghost Royale. Thank you for the one the sub. Ugh. There it is. Opening the, the top up. Kind of put these back in here. Push this off to the side here. Actually, we can do this. Actually, why don't we switch sides here? Ugh. There we go. I like this. Is just it's such it's so overkill. This 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 card. 
So there is our GPU open. Oh, it comes with a little, oh, that's new. I didn't know it did this. It comes with a little dude. It's all rubber banded together and stuff. So you get the little dude that comes with it. You get your shield. It's a nice, it smells nice. It's a very nice smelling thing. Sky Scanner, thank you very much, my friend. Oh, whoa, hefty. Wow, that is a thick boy, guys, thick. I mean, look at that. That is, that is triple C thick. There it is. Cover that bad boy up. You could put him, yeah, you could put him in the PC if you wanted to. Whoever that person, I mean, uh, if Jeff decided he wanted to do that, he could. It'll be, he'll get the box with it, so. Okay, we don't need this. I don't know if I can, this looks like hard to get off. There's definitely peel there, okay. There we go. Grab a little corner here. It's a little bit of smudge here. Okay. Okay, so we got that peel done. I don't think there's any other peels on this side. Then we have the Giganto peel. Thick peel. Okay, there's that peel. It's like a peel under a peel. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, there's that one. Now we got a peel here. Which was underneath another peel, which is pretty odd. Wow, that is shiny. Okay, so that's all peeled. That does not have any more peel. Okay, cool. There is our thick boy GPU. Triple thing. Now understand that the screen because we'll have cables going down, but the screen is actually only right here. So it's like, if the cables come across this, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Now let's get this inside of the case. PC guy 2018, how we doing? How close are we? We gotta be close. <clears throat> no, they're uh, 436. Okay, so we're, we're, we're climbing. You guys are doing good. Let me put this down, because this is just too hefty to make it a little bit lower.
go. There we go. Now, I am going to go ahead, for the sake of things, try and use the lock, the GPU lock that comes with this, just to see if we can give it some extra reinforcement. Okay, let's grab a couple screws. This is just to give it extra support from the other side. Okay, see if that gives it some extra reinforcement. Okay, cool. Now let's get our cables in and all that stuff. I'm curious if it's gonna sag. Take a look here. No, it is not sagging. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Wow, cool. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, so there's everything inside. Let's start the process of putting GPU cables in and all that fun stuff. Actually, I love the, like, just thematically, the build actually looks really good. Okay. Is it? <laughs> okay. Let's get our let's get our stuff installed here. Last kind of bit, and then we'll just put in our PSU, and then we're done. So what happens when we do our PSU, guys? After our PSU is done, um, we will uh, then after that we'll uh, do our um, deals. So we'll go through deals, talk about CDK deals as well. And then once that's done, then we'll turn it on, um, get, do our giveaways and call it a day. Now don't forget, we have that brand new giveaway that is for post the stream. Uh, you got to head on over to youtube.com slash Roby tech, go to this video. Um, and then you just got to like subscribe. Um, and then leave a quality comment and then we'll, uh, and it's just feedback, what you liked, what you liked about the build, just anything, um, as long as it's quality. Um, and then it can't be like, I hate, you know, I need free PZ, I should win, that sort of thing. And then uh, at the end of the week, we'll choose one winner uh, and then we'll just send them $25. You just need to make sure that there's a way to contact you in your YouTube profile. I will never reach out, I will never tell you you won via YouTube chat. 
That's not a thing that we do. We'll announce the winner uh, on Discord, but uh, if you guys see somebody say, hey, you won, then it's a lie. That's not true. Um, and that'll be happening right at the end. You can just leave your comment, hit your thumb, and you just gotta like, subscribe, and do that too. So, but what did you enjoy? What did you not enjoy? We're both fine. It's okay for you to leave some, uh, some critical feedback as well. We're okay with it, just as long as it's well thought out and put. Putting our cable ties in. Thank you, Skylar. Why do you like it? You're enjoying it. I'm gonna pick up some more Dark Souls tonight, I think. I don't know what I'm gonna play tonight. I'm gonna play some games though tonight for sure. Ow, that hurt. Okay, let's get this twisted in and set just to make sure it looks good. I just want it off the back. That's the important part here. Okay, what we're doing here is just making sure that this is curved and out of the way. We just don't want it to, to, cur to come in and show through the case. So we just zip tie it like that and then get it out. Pretty straightforward, simple stuff to keep it clean. Okay, so that's all squared. We got our CPU is in. Next up is our CPU cable. Sorry, our PS, our uh, main cable's in. There we go, looks good. There we go, cool. Uh, <clears throat> let's grab our CPU cable. There we go. Excuse me. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the cable management. Okay, there's one.
uh, I mean, it's a 3080, so what, 600 watts, something like that? Depends, on, I mean, it should be, yeah, 600 watts maybe. I mean, at max. No, it can't be that much. I don't know, it, something off the top of my head, because I just realized what I just said. So I'm, I don't want to give misinformation. The Bob Ross, say, this is the this is the Bob, we actually did the Bob Ross segment when we painted the thermal paste on. 300, oh, there you go. Thank you very much. Somebody knows. Uh, Cam Smith, it really depends on the what you're using for a CPU. Well, thanks for making it now, Pran. I'm good. Thanks, I appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the build. Okay, there's that one. Ugh. This face is the face of somebody who's trying to pull a cable through. Trying to get this one cable in. There it goes. Okay. Unfortunately, because I'm using that cable lock there, I'm not gonna be able to use this. It just won't fit.
Okay, that holds that in. Okay, last set of cable extensions, and we just gotta put in our GPSU and we're done. Okay, last bit. That's these three. Yeah, it's, I wonder, hold on, let me pull that down. That's probably why. There you go, fixed. It's seeing the reflection of itself. The camera's seeing the reflection of itself and try to focus on it. Okay, let's get this last bit in. Yeah, it's a, yes, it is a fat GPU. Oops, missed. It is not three slotty, even though it does look three slotty. It is still a two slot GPU in terms of just sitting it in, which is weird because I think it would have been better if you would have had three slots. It would have just given it that extra reinforcement. I'm not really sure why they didn't do three slots. go. Last cable. Last set of cable combs. What do you say? Oh, freaking snap what, Worm? Just how the build looks? Now this will not cover the screen. We'll make sure that it, it should just go across the front of it, which is what it typically does. You're from Puerto Vallarta, huh? Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're happy. With your GPU, you should be. Like, if you're happy, that's all that matters. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. As long as you're happy and you're enjoying your gaming and there's no... 
dissatisfaction, that's all that really matters then. Okay, there we go. All of our cables, this is exactly what the build's gonna look like when it's done. It's all set up, good to go. Let's flip it over, put our PSU in, and finish it out. There we go. PSU time, guys. We are 25 away from hitting that 150, by the way. Get a drink. His name is Jeff Herringer. Herringer. So he works at a, a, a conventions stuff for Microsoft. He's a good friend of mine. <clears throat> Maybe if you fed the cable above the Velcro tie, it will straight perk and going to the video card. Maybe if you fed the cable above the Velcro tie. What? You mean right here? And then going at that. I don't like I don't like the way that looks. I like to be able to see the cable extensions. But yeah, you could probably run it that way. The problem is, is that the cables end up looking weird. His name is Robert Paulson. Is that you, Skyler? Sorry, it took me a second to read that. Uh, I do sell them too. Yes, we do. We have ones that we sell, and then we have ones that we built. Oh, no, yeah, but there's a, there, you're using, I'm using the compartment below. And I actually want it crooked because I don't want it to block the screen. It doesn't, Beardo, it doesn't co cover the screen. The screen's on the far right. You'll see when I turn it on. Cable. Okay, let's get, no, I don't need that. Need those, okay. No, it's on the far right. It's uh, only, the screen's only on the right side of it. So even though it looks that way, it's not. You'll see, yeah, when I turn it on. Well, if people just reach out and ask me. I mean, I don't sell, I'm not a PC manufacturer, but if we had, like, you can just reach out to me on DM and we can work one out. But I do have a couple pre, I have a pre-built PC that's for sale right now. Nobody seems to want to buy. It's a uh, 30, well, somebody can put the link. It's right there. It's an H1 system. That's just, uh, that we're selling. <clears throat> that one right there. We have it completely built and just ready to be, it's, we uh, did it something with NZXT, and then we didn't. We don't need the system anymore. It's brand new, full warranty, and uh, 
So if, if you're looking for a system, there's a really good one for really inexpensive. Okay, we need this. The fire issues are fixed. It's been, that this one has been remediated. That's not, an, it's not really an issue anymore. That's the thing is, so anyway, you know it's not gonna catch on fire if that's what you're concerned about. But we have one ready to go. Oh no, for sure, yeah, I understand. I'm just letting you know, if you're interested, this one will not catch on fire. Okay, so we have all our cables that we need for this PSU. JD83, I'm looking at all the chats. I have multiple chats I look at. Okay. Evening. No, yeah, you wanna pay 249 for a 3050. Between 240 and 300 at the most. 350 is yes. It's a great card at 249. We're super close to hitting that goal, guys. Good job. Okay, there's all of our cables that we need. Yeah, that's crazy. Then you get it, then you should get a 3060 or a 36, yeah. Okay, let's get the PSU mounted. Is that the end of the, th finally got to the end of the track, huh? What do you guys think of the new playlist? Do you like it or the old one better? Or no thoughts, You're there, you like them both. mounting our plate. Plate mounted. Five in. Okay, so our GPU is now in. 
Okay, first one we're gonna do is run our SATA. Only one SATA to run. Oh geez, it's like, wow, Ruby, what's going on here? Okay, there's that one. So there's our SATA connection connected. Controlled. Okay, let's run our CPU connection now. There it is. Okay, there's our GP, there's our, that one. Let's get our GPU in. Okay, now for our PSU, I mean our GPUs, cables. bit of the build guys we have one more cable to hook up and then that's it that's our 24 pin okay Okay, last cable. Last one of the build.
Okay, there we go. Build is done. Okay, so there's your whole cable managed build. Even the bottom looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna run deals. After we get the case kind of put back together, the build is ready. Needs to get put in there. Okay, screws. Why do you want me to boot it before the panels? We don't usually do it till after the deals. We always do it with the panels on. Ooh, uh. Let's check our cabling before we get to the next stage, just to make sure everything looks good still. That one looks good. Nice and locked and over. Superstition? Yeah, no, I've been doing this too long for me to be, I do it, if I was gonna be superstitious, I should do it the way that I always do it because that's when, uh, that's where, uh, that's gotten me the most success. There we go. And finally, the last part. And there is your build, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, PC is ready to get booted. We get there. Let's do our deals and stuff first. So you can see it like this, and then we'll go from there. There is the PC. We are at 126, guys. We hit our YouTube goal, which is great. Hopefully we can hit the 150. More good. Uh, my wife would be killing me right now. She's an English teacher. She'd be like, what did you just say? Did you just say more good? Be like, uh, nope, I didn't. Okay. There we go, and... Okay, ready for our deals. <sighs> Whew.
Okay, let's get this up. Okay, here we go. Let me go to game capture. You guys should be able to see it. There it is, hopefully. Nope, it is not there. Good job, okay. Let's see if it shows up when we do this. It's always funky. Nope, hold on. Ugh. Uh, I'm not even seeing any. Oh, there it goes. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, uh, one of the big things you get finished with a PC build, you're like, hey, uh, now it's time to get Windows 10 or Windows 11, whichever you prefer. So you're like, oh, cool. Well, how much is a normal Windows 10 key? So you have a site here, Windows 10. Man, $113. Geez, I just spent $1,500, $2,000. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to get Windows 10 and get rid of that activate Windows for a lot less? Well, you can go to vip-cdkdeals.com and pick up a copy of Windows 10, which will upgrade to Windows 11 for $22. Now, if you hit buy now, oh, hold on one sec. Ugh. Didn't think this was not logged in. Okay. So if you hit buy now, and you hit you hit buy now, you're already logged in, you've got an account. It comes in here. Now, if you use code RBCK, you get 30% off. So $22 now becomes $15.80. So well, that's a pretty good deal. Now, the other thing too is that, uh, the other thing that's really good about CDK deals is you can also do the same thing with Office. So here you can go, here's Office 2019. It's regularly $225.38. Um, <clears throat> uh, so if it's a regular $228.39, you can just hit buy now, right there. And then you again, same thing, use your code RBCK, hit apply. And then you can see right there, it's $46.23. So again, saving you some money on Office, saving you some money on Windows, uh, if you just wanna save a little bit of money. And, uh, and even if uh, everything is on uh, money, you can basically do that if you absolutely want to and save some cash on upgrading your Windows. So again, that's vip-cdkdeals.com. We have, they have great customer service. We have thousands of people who've used this to basically uh, get your copy of Windows 10, Windows 11, um, and a ton of people have done this. So it's, it's really, really easy. There's a bunch of different options, et cetera. Um, okay, so uh, last thing I'd like to talk about, um, last thing I'd like to talk about is uh, robytechdeals.com uh, or at robytechdeals on Twitter. If you're ever looking for like cheap PC hardware, uh, cheap, uh, cheap video game hardware, just deals on tech in general, bookmark this site because they're always update. Tom's always updating. The other thing too is Twitter. If you just want to basically look at Twitter, he's all the time just posting new deals on GPU availability, uh, CPU sales, tech, uh, televisions, video games, etc. all of that stuff. And then all of that, again, again, it's also goes to support us as well. Um, Movie quote of the day. Apparently he's adding movie quotes as well. Uh, other thing about Robitech is it also has stuff, for instance, it has our store. So like our Robitech store is on this website uh, as well as our schedule. So if you're always curious about what our schedule is, that is there as well. Robitech store is where you can go, like for instance, our merch. So here's our build mat, which so many people have basically picked up uh, as well as our shirts, 
jackets, which are absolutely rad and uh, for really good deals. So that stuff is also on robytechdeals.com. Lastly, if you're ever gonna shop at Newegg, Best Buy, Amazon, uh, you can do that and uh, just click on these links. They don't cost any more for you, but they do go and help support us. So if you're shopping for groceries or whatever it was, just come here, click on the link first, and then you end up saving us. Uh, you end up, you end up uh, giving us a little bit of extra uh, help in the short term. Now, uh, we also have all of our stream builds. So if you found a build that's, uh, that you liked on an individual stream, you just look by date. Uh, as you can see, he actually posts the thumb, and then below it is all of the parts that we used uh, for this build. So if you're looking for the individual parts, or you like something like a, a PSU or a GPU or uh, the case, all of that stuff is always listed on the site um, and archived all the way through uh, by, uh, by, the, uh, by the individual build. Now lastly, the last thing um, that we like to talk about is he also likes to find deals just for um, the stream itself. So let's see what deals Tom has found today. Um, okay, so 980 Evo Pro. So one terabyte 980, probably one of the uh, most sought after um, PCIe Gen 4 just because of Samsung's name. Uh, it's right now $149.99 uh, for uh, today only for their 980 Pro. That is a very high-end PCIe Gen 4 NVMe. Those are usually way more expensive. It's on sale today only for $149.99. 16 gigs of 3600 megahertz RAM. This is Oloy, 55 bucks. Wow, for 16 gigs, that's actually pretty good. Uh, and it's RGB RAM. We've used Oloy a number of times. Stuff's pretty easy to use. Uh, works with most uh, case manufacturers, RGB um, and stuff like that. Uh, the Aorus FI32U, this is a 4K IPS uh, exclusive built-in, I don't know what ANC is. Uh, 144 hertz, one millisecond gray to gray with display point 1.4, HDMI 2.1, two USB 3.0. Um, and it's got a KVM with USB plus a a a AMD FreeSync uh, as well. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it is Oloy, by the way. Built in, I don't know. Built in, anti, I don't know. I don't know what ANC is. Uh, and then it's $100 off. So that's a really good monitor, super high end monitor for 900 bucks. Uh, so I really like the FV43U, um, and then this is a 32-inch 4K um, monitor. So really, really good uh, monitor uh, on sale right now for 900 bucks. That's a pricey monitor. Uh, Intel 12600K, 279.99. Probably my favorite uh, 12th gen CPU. Like pretty much, you can go down to the 12400. We're actually playing with the i3, i3 as well. But this is such a kick butt uh, CPU for just a really great price. So regularly $299 on sale right now, $279.98, uh, absolutely steal. Uh, Razer Isker Fabric Gaming Chair. Uh, this is the one that, uh, this, I, oh, this is the big one. This is actually, uh, Tom just bought this. Uh, $200 off, $399.99. Uh, he really, really likes it. Uh, uh, he really, really likes it. So anyway, that is, uh, that's on sale right now. Uh, I know a lot of people really like the new Razer chairs. They've been really enjoying them. And I have to say, man, that's like nice and subtle looking for a, for a nice chair, which is actually pretty cool. <clears throat> um, Samsung Odyssey G7, probably one of our favorite monitors. This is the 27 inch 1440p on sale, 549.99 over at uh, Newegg. Uh, the XP Gamex S70 Blade, you guys saw me use this in the XPG build. Uh, one terabyte for $129.99. Uh, and this is a PCIe Gen 4. That's a great price for a PCIe Gen 4. Uh, Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi. Uh, if you're looking to build an AMD build, $179.99. That's a great price for X570. Uh, Tough Gaming 32. This is their 1440p monitor. Uh, IPS 170 hertz, one millisecond. Uh, low motion blur sync, free sync premium, 99%. Wow, that's great coverage for color. Uh, display port HDMI USB, 50 bucks off. That is a five. That is a three hundred eighty dollar monitor uh, for fourteen forty p at one hundred seventy hertz. That's a hell of a deal. That's probably one of my favorite deals right now. Netgear Orbi Watt Pro Wi Fi Six Mesh System. Uh, I showed this off on Amazon Live. This is the system I use. I have their pro version of this. Uh, four thousand square feet, forty devices. So it does support uh, you know, like if you have um, Govi or anything like that. Uh, really, really great mesh Wi-Fi system, good QA stuff, good software, uh, and Wi-Fi 6 makes a massive difference in terms of your ability to play and even use stuff over Wi-Fi, so worth checking out. Um, and then uh, Corsair, their K70 RGB, uh, this is like their middle ground uh, 10 key, it's still got, no, it doesn't have a 10 key. This is their middle ground um, 
RGB keyboard. Uh, it doesn't have all the macro stuff, but it's just, it's probably one of their best selling um, keyboards. Uh, right now it's on sale for $89.99. And then the Height Revolt 3, we're actually gonna be doing a V2 of this build here pretty soon. I love this case, it's got a carrying case. Uh, height is just awesome. Um, and uh, they're the new brand from My Power, who's like their DIY brand. Uh, but it's 99 bucks off, which is a great price for that case uh, for, thir for 99. It's probably one of the best, um, it's, it doesn't require a riser cable. Um, you can put a full size GPU in it. Um, and then uh, apparently we did some wrong, something wrong with our thermals for there, but it works really, really well uh, thermally because there's some pretty big height stuff. So good deals today, uh, Tom. What'd you guys think? Um, anything else? Anybody? Yeah, so little, yeah. Uh, yeah, so anyway, great deals today, Tom. I think uh, you did a good job, buddy. Anything that you guys found was interesting? Yeah, they're solid. Tom's a man when it comes to deals. He does a good job. So again, following at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter or following on our website, uh, really, really great place to just find cheap tech. And, and he's updating it, not just for streams, but all the time. So definitely worth a follow or a bookmark um, and then just visiting on a pretty regular basis. Now, oh, it does remind me, sorry, one other thing. Uh, we talked about the system that we do have for sale. Uh, it's this one right here, the, the H1 Mini Plus. Uh, it's uh, regularly on sale for $14.99. We're selling ours for $1,200. So if you, $1,200, it's got a 10700K in it, uh, a RTX 3060, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, we're doing uh, 1200 bucks plus tax and then shipping and uh, it's yours. So $200 below or almost $300 below the price of um, the actual H1 Mini Plus. Um, so if you're interested in picking it up, uh, and uh, wanting to get it up. We just need it. We just don't need it anymore. And so it's just sitting uh, in a box ready to go out. So uh, if you're interested, we're selling to you guys at a deal um, and uh, go from there. So anyway, reach out to me on Discord or talk to Blondie, et cetera. She'll give you the contact information. We can, uh, we can get this out of here. So um, that is it, guys. That is everything. Let's get this plugged in. We're going to do our giveaways and all of that stuff as well. Um, going from there. Good deals today. Tom, good deals. Okay, let's get this over here. Oh, there it is right there. Ready to get plugged in. Okay. So many connect, so many plugs on this. GPU, it's got like 50 bajillion. You can put like 83 monitors off of this GPU. Okay, and there we go. Okay, there it is, ready to get plugged in. Let's get it into mood mode in here, guys. What do you say? Mood mode, yeah, everybody's saying it. It's ready. It's ready to be unleashed. Mood mode. Where's my, okay, there it is. Waiting for mood mode to get active. There's one. Come on, mood mode. There's another. There we go, mood mode enabled. Okay, here we go, guys. There it is, look at that. Ooh. Oh, and the back fan just started spinning. The top fans are spinning. Everything's spinning. Look at that. And then you can still see that there's that screen, just like I said. It's got to restart. But see, yeah, it does not block that screen. It's just, just at the edge of it. Uh, you know what, because our camera, our stuff isn't set up for it. That's a good point. You know, honestly, I like the RGB that we have on that Spectrix. It goes really well with the softer RGB of the Fantex fans, I got to say. Like, it's just got a good, uh, good color to it. Um, yeah. I like the way that looks. And it did post, by the way, it is posted. Yep, no, it's posted. Yeah. So yeah, color-wise, it looks really good. And it's, these are almost like a pastel-y 
as are the Fantex ones. Now everything's plugged into each other, but yeah, we've got it all plugged in. And then here we go right here. There's the, uh, there you can actually see it is actually posted for you. So there's the post, it is up, it is running and good to go. CPU core temp sitting at 25 degrees. That is nice and frosty uh, right there. <laughs> that is a good idle temp. Uh, but yeah, there is our build. Yeah, I, I like, I, you know, it's funny. I think you're right. Uh, some of you said, uh, who was it that said? Yeah, it's Gargus Canyons, Kaz, 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 Kazan. Yeah, that I like that there's all that black. There's so few other colors <clears throat> that the it makes the RGB almost pop a bit more because of just the lack of additional colors uh, in the build. So everything just kind of goes. And I have to say it makes like even the line and stuff look a whole lot better. There's, I mean, you really can't go wrong with all the different color <clears throat> options that you're gonna have with the RGB here, so. And then again, I love the softer kind of RGB look of the, uh, of the front here. So then you get like that nice three quarter view. So yeah, it's got, it's just, it's great diffused color. And then look at these top fans. I love, you know, people wanna know, like if you wanna see, look at, how, look at how bright those shine. Look at that. You would not know that those fans are not RGB. Cause that white reflection, they just do a really good job of lighting that white. So yeah, I think it came out great. No, those are not T30s. Those are the standard ones that come with the Glacier. This isn't the T30 version of the Glacier. I have a T31, but yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think they make white, white T30s yet. I hope they do. Um, you mean there aren't? Yeah, they're not unicorns just running in circles. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's start our giveaways. Let's get our getaway giveaway started. Okay, let's get the right thing up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first one is for a uh, two, we're gonna be drawing the, the for two uh, 250 gig NVMe SSDs. Two 250 gig NVMe SSDs, exclamation point community, exclamation point community, starting that getaway right now, exclamation point community, guys. There we go. Okay, entries are going. I'm gonna get the... Uh... Extras out of the way here while I'm at it. Clean up a little. There we go. Looks really good. Can't get over that core temp. 27. It's a good temperature for at idle. Glacier is doing a good job keeping that thing cool. Go. Ugh. Came out really clean. Okay, we should be picking winners now. Oh, we got winners. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so winners, our first winner, Gamer JTP, GTP, Gamer G, 
GamerJTP23, congratulations. You are the winner of a 250 gig NVMe and Black Bold Beard. Black Bold Beard, you are also a winner of a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Congratulations, you guys. Okay, next giveaway is uh, for a $100 new A gift card. $100 new A gift card. And this is for a $100 new A gift card, starting that giveaway right now. $100 new A gift card. Exclamation point new egg now. Exclamation point new egg now. Giveaway is active currently. Exclamation point new egg now. You guys only need to enter once, maybe twice, just to make sure, but you don't need to spam. Minute and 30 seconds left, guys. Man, that build came out really good. Thirty seconds, guys, thirty seconds. Ten seconds. And there we go. Okay, we're gonna be drawing a winner in just a second. The raffle has ended. Congratulations to the Fudley one. The Fudley one. Congratulations, the Fudley one. You are the winner of a hundred dollar new gift card. Okay, so let's talk about the rest of the week. Uh, no stream tomorrow whatsoever, guys. We are back on Monday. Uh, for another build. So that's going to be happening on Monday, I believe. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I, I haven't looked at the thing, but I believe we're doing a stream on Monday. Uh, and then uh, we, uh, that's it, right? I don't, I don't think I have much else to say. Now, do not forget, we have that new give, the new giveaway, $25. All you got to do is leave a quality comment, some bit of feedback, whatever, on our YouTube video for this afterwards. Make sure you like and subscribe on the YouTube as well. And then just make sure you have a way to contact you on profile. We're gonna have a lot more of these giveaways for other videos as well. So it might as well just be prepared for that as well. So as soon as this video ends and it's available for VOD, just go down, put a comment. It's gotta be a good content comment. Can't be something like, give me free PC, I love you, stuff like that. Like a comment about the video, et cetera, what you enjoyed about the stream. So let us know that down in the description, uh, down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and all that stuff. Anyway, guys, we look forward to seeing you on Monday. Have a great rest of your day off on Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and I look forward to seeing you guys in a couple days. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.